I'm making a hundred dollars a day with NFTs. I'm sure you hear this all the time. And is it true when YouTubers say this? I get this question in my discord and I have done videos where I've said that I'm making a hundred dollars a day. So when this happens, can you make a hundred dollars a day too? We can, but there's a little more to it than that. And I kind of want to let you know all about it in this video. Going to just explain it and talk about a few other things as well related to the NFT scene. So let's go ahead and dive on the computer and take a look. Before we get started with the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to our current Smackers and Silver Smacker memberships. Really do appreciate you. It does help the channel continue. Thank you so much. If you are interested in joining, it's 99 cents per month for the Smackers. And then there's also higher levels like the Silver Smackers. I really do appreciate it. And you also do get a Discord role. So you turn yellow, plus you get extra giveaway entries. Not to mention you get to use emojis in chat. And the more members we have, the more emojis they can use, plus on live streams. I will be going through and adding more emotes once we get some more members, as I already have them created. So hopefully we get some more and we can start getting even more emotes in chat. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin Smack. As you know, I am not a financial advisor. I'm a gamer. Gamer? Gamer? So <laughs> make sure you do your own research on any projects that you are looking into. Today I want to talk about the YouTube area where people say, I'm making $100 a day in a video. I had this come up and someone mentioned, you know, invest in a game, earn $100 a day. They said, you know, is this is a scam, blah, blah, blah. And I said, it's not really a scam. It's the truth, but it's not as cut and dry as that. So because of this question, I wanted to kind of go through and explain it a little more because one, I don't have any other videos to make at the moment and it sounds like a good idea. And two, I want to be completely transparent to everyone to explain what was going on at that time. And with that said, you can make a lot of money in games per day. I actually have done videos. Let's see. I'm sure I can find them here. Fishing land one here. And in the fishing land one, I said I was making $60 a day. I also have some older ones, and this is probably better to relate to. Right here, Goldmon getting started $100 daily. And yes, I was making $100 daily, sometimes over $200. It depended on how things fluctuated. The thought was, you know, people mention about these videos and then all of a sudden they stop talking about the game. And that's true because sometimes when people are making a lot of money, other people are losing a lot of money. Because of how these games work at times and they're still kind of trying to be figured out, you have to kind of get in at the right time and have the right stuff to earn the right amount. And that can be difficult and you never know what's kind of going on when you're doing this. You just have to look at the game and see what you think. Now with this game, I did invest a lot into it. I also did receive some cards for sponsorship. So with that, it did help me build things up. Remember, if I'm doing a video for just cards, which I rarely do, I have to really, really like the game to do that because, to be honest, I need to pay bills and this is my livelihood. Quick derailment here. Someone said today that, uh, you know, if you want something, you know, just joking around, make sure you pay $4,000 for the sponsored video. Yeah, it's not like that. I make on a sponsored video, I make what most people make in a day, maybe a day and a half of work. And I'm kind of taking that day and day and a half, two days, depending on the game, on researching, creating the video, editing the video, doing the thumbnail, the title, making sure they're click worthy, posting them after they're posting them, notifying the people, starting the Twitter giveaway, starting the YouTube giveaway, follow up about a week later to 10 days. I usually do the giveaway, give out the prizes. And that is about what a sponsored video entails, unless they're not in a rush. If they're not in a rush, when I finish the sponsored video, I will send them to them and they will review them, give me edits, timestamps, and then I'll correct them and do it that way. 
So if you're thinking I'm making four thousand dollars a sponsored video, you're <laughs> I want to work there. Yes, I'll do sponsored videos for four thousand, but no, it's not even it's not even close to that. Not even remotely. So just want to kind of give put that out there. But back to this. Basically, I'm taking the cards as payment for the game, and that helps me push the game further in. And then I'm making more money in the game, assuming the game continues to trend up. As new people are entering the game and investors are reinvesting, that amount will continue to go up. But when you're making that much, it's very easy to continue to reinvest to make a little more. However, you want to start taking some profits because if you don't, that's going to start disappearing at some point. It's not going to last forever. Now, fishing lands, I was making $60 a day. Am I making that now? No. What am I making now? I don't even know. I have to look. All right, so looking, and to be honest, I haven't looked this up in a while. I'm making 300 wax, which it's, I guess, 10 cents. It's making $28.71. The token is almost at 10 cents, so you can figure about $30. So, that's pretty good. To be honest, I've been reinvesting in this game because I took a lot of profit and I got to the point where I said, okay, I'm going to build up more and I'm building up. So now I have two mythics, one legendary, one rare, and then I have another rare that's not showing. I'm going to take make one more rare and then combine those three probably today because I'm making tokens so fast, I can make lower ones. And then once I have three rares, I'm going to go and combine them and make another legendary. So I'll have Mythic, Mythic, Legendary, Legendary of each. And I'm also working on the badge, which is going to be coming Sunday. And when the badge comes out, that's going to be awesome because I have everything but the token to make the first badge, assuming it doesn't fail because there is some percentages of failing. I do have the stuff to go ahead and make sure it doesn't fail. And they're very, very rare. I got really lucky early on, but I'm probably going to hold that when I upgrade to the highest badge possible unless I get another one in that time period. But enough about fishing lands. Just saying, I'm still earning, but I'm not earning 60, I'm earning half. This game's still doing really well, and with the update, I think it's going to continue to. Now, is it going to continue forever? I can't say that. I'll probably continue to play because I like the game itself, and I've already got my money back, but is it smart for you to invest? Can you make $30 right now a day with this game? You can, but to make $30 with this game, you can't buy in at the common, the rare, the epic, the legendary. You need two mythics, one legendary and one rare to equal what I had today. Now, tomorrow, the price can dip. And if it does dip, then you just lost out. Because I got in early, I knew it was a good game. I got some pulls and I got lucky with some things. I spent a lot. But because it did so well, I'm doing well. And the game continues to catch on to people because people start playing and they enjoy it. And when they enjoy it, they're like, this is cool. I'm going to continue to play. So as people continue to play and continue to join the game, the price will stay stable, go up, could go down once everyone has invested what they need to. But as long as a good amount of new people are coming in, you're not going to see that dip that hard that fast. But what happened with Goldmon? I was making, you can see in this video, I was over $200 on Goldmon a day at some points. And then it was a month later, I was $100 daily. So that kind of cut in half in, uh, it's probably more like three weeks between those videos, I believe. In that three week period, it's cut in half. What happened, it continued to cut down because less people were investing because the token was going down. And if they wanted to make that $100, they needed multiple legendaries, multiple crazy badges. You had to have your staking system built up. You had to have leveled up. You needed all of these things for the factors to be unlocked for that $100 a day investment. There is no investing in these games there is playing these games investing is stock market <laughs> investing is not nfts nfts are only worth what people will pay just like trading cards and what happened back in my day when i used to collect trading cards once they got big people printed more of them what happens when there's more of them they become less valuable but certain games are doing a 
great job like fishing lands. And if they make too much of something, they burn it. And that's what they're doing with the chest sale on Sunday, 300. And if they don't sell out after a certain period of time, they're burnt and they're gone. And then the token's going to build up off of those amulets that are created. And it's going to take a while for people to build those up. I think they're doing a really great job and the guy behind it is awesome. But again, not a sponsored video, of course, just randomly talking about the game that I'm playing that I'm most excited about. There are other games I'm playing. Novo, I'm also building up. Uh, they're going to have a good update to this week. I'm hoping I do earn a good amount in that game when it comes out. I know I keep investing more and more and I, I want to get to a certain point, but I also might be investing too much. <laughs> we'll see. But the game looks great and I'm enjoying it. Just to kind of recap, so basically if someone's saying they're making $100 a day, you have to look at what they currently have in their inventory and you would need to duplicate everything they have. Not just the NFTs, but if there's experience built up, if there's levels, if there's stuff staked, you would have to match all of that. But like if we look at my one game, so this is just a example here. It's probably not the best example, but here you can see that I have a lot of cards and I am making almost seven wax a day. So that's about 70 cents. So that might not sound like a lot, but this is just the best example I have. For you to be able to make this same amount of that I'm making, you would need to have all of these pandas. Not only that, but most of them are in the kernel rank. So you would need to rank them up to kernel. Every time you rank up, you have to stake a certain amount of wax to move them up. So right now it might be a few hundred wax, like 150 wax to move up to kernel. To kind of picture each rank, you're adding more staked, more staked, more staked. So not only do you have to buy all of these, but you also have to go ahead and stake. If you had all of these cards, all of these levels, all of my staked, and you've played as long as me with this game, you would be, are you ready for this? Making seven wax a day. Crazy. <laughs> but hey, it used to be like nothing. So I'm kind of excited that I'm making something. And I'm just building up my pandas more. So every day they get closer to the next rank. And as the ranks go up, they go up. So I'm hoping to be making more in the future. And people continue to play this game. More people are entering because it's cheap to get into. You won't make a lot, but it's fun. From this video, you can kind of get an idea. If you want to make a lot, the idea is you have to find the right game, get in early, build up quickly. And that is not a guarantee either. You saw my last video. If you didn't, I'm going to put it at the top. Veriland, I put a lot of money in and it didn't pay off and it kind of went down. Now, I have to say since that video, it did like double or triple in price and then it went back down some. It's still a decent price. It's better than it was. So I'm happy with that. And I'm getting some returns now and the gladiator feature is out and they're going to be allowing you to craft them probably tomorrow. And when that happens, they're going to go up in price again. And I've been stocking up on tokens. So for when that happens, I can just make my own gladiators and how gladiators work is you have your own gladiator. You bet 20 gold, you fight someone else in wax. And if you win, you get 30 gold. If you lose, you get nothing. It's kind of like actual PvP. I thought it was kind of neat that they're doing that. So I'm not lost on the game. The game's still coming around, still trucking, and they're doing updates, and the coin is fluctuating a lot, but it'll stabilize as the game gets, you know, gets some more time under it. If I wasn't in the game, I probably would still enter now, but not at a big position, just a smaller position, just to kind of mess around. But I do like the game. Another way to get ahead of these games is basically by getting lucky. When they come out and they drop packs, buy a pack, see what happens. If you get really lucky and you get really good cards, think about what you're trying to accomplish. If you really like the game, go ahead, take that and start playing. If you're unsure about the game, look at what those expensive cards are selling for. If they're selling for three times what you paid, I would probably sell them to people and then buy another pack and keep the profit. Now you're ahead, you're playing a game for free, you're taking another chance. 
And you can repeat that process as much as you want. If you get lucky and you keep hitting good cards, you know, you have to think about what you want to do and accomplish in that game. As I'm talking more and more, you might kind of think, hey, sounds more like you're gambling and not investing. And I kind of feel like it kind of is a gamble. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Of course, you're going to have some winners, but you can have some losers, too. So if someone's making $100 a day in a game, that is not sustainable. That is going to go down at some time. And Goldmon, unfortunately, went down pretty fast. I ended up exiting before the bottom bottom, but not far from the bottom. I did get some back, and most of the money that I got, I probably reinvested 60 65%. So I still got about 35 40% that I invested in other projects that built up. So I wasn't all into one thing. And again, I use the word investment very loosely, not a financial advisor, just trying to give you what I think of the NFT space in general. I enjoy it. I'm always looking for the next thing. And I like playing the games too, figuring them out, finding out what's like the the secret to beating everyone else and then what i usually do is share it with you all as you know and we talk about things like this all the time on my discord if you are interested go ahead and jump in uh we got someone here giving out uh worsaken packs so they're sending them to me uh pack sent so i'll be doing a giveaway for some packs of Warsaken in my Discord. So make sure you jump in if you're seeing this video because they'll probably be going. You just sign up, join, and then go into the giveaway room and choose a thing. And we have a winner for $10 wax yesterday. He still didn't message me. I'll try to ping him. But I do give away $10 wax from time to time. I also have a bunch of announcements which include my cup robots. I have just released another one. Here it is. His name's No Scope. So check him out if you're interested. Yeah, you know what? By the time this video is live, you'll probably have missed out on No Scope. And not many people resell the cup robots because they kind of hold on to them because there's not a lot of them. Even though they're at what I think is a reasonable price. I really like this project. Unfortunately, how well did the project do for me financially? I would say I probably, after everything's said and done, if it continues on the course that it's on, I'll probably have lost about $1,000. I put a lot of money into the art, into the story, into the animation, into the cards, everything. And would I do it again? Probably, because I wanted to go through the experience and learn it and see what it's like. I could see why people... Uh, go cheap on the artwork because if your project fails then you know you're not really worried but for me I wanted to go all in and that's why I feel my cards are better than most but I, I did do mess up on the color I should have had different color robots more often and I was planning on doing that on the next seasons if I continue it it's still up in the air I'm going to kind of see like I said I haven't got a huge response we've got a decent amount of people that are interested but the sales aren't very high. So I just kind of throwing that in here because it's kind of like one of those videos where I just go off on tangents and talk about random wax things. Anything else I can talk about with wax? Hmm, I don't think so. I think I covered it between my last video and this video, but I think we're pretty good. If you have any tips you want to share, make sure you comment them down below. I know you won't, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I appreciate the people that do comment and our members. Thank you for our members for continuing support. I really appreciate you. Thanks for the view. Here's my last video you should really check out.